Usually when I get an ability score improvement, I just try to make my highest stat a 20. That's because I'm an uncreative dumbass who gets overwhelmed when I have too many abilities. But I face down every feat and I'm gonna learn you how to... which ones... what... Uh, which ones to pick. Jesus Christ, there are so many feats. Holy f Actor, you become a very likable Kenku. It's mostly good for just screwing around and adopting a multi-personality disorder. But give it to a changeling or an illusionist and they become basically unstoppable. Alert, good for people who want to look at the party and say, Fuck you, I'm going first. It also makes every rogue lose their sneak attack against you, and you can predict an invisible stalker's next move. If you like combat and hate sneak attacks, take this one. Charger, the whole world turns into Sparta and you become an agitated rhinoceros. Defensive Duelist allows you to somehow deflect a fire giant's greatsword attack with a dart. Or it turns you into the Indiana Jones of defense. Dual Wielder, you become ambidextrous, gain a tiny shield at the tip of your weapon, and that's kind of it. But if you're riding a horse, you can have two lances at once. So that's a winner. Dungeon Delver, you gain resistance to damage done by the DM, and secret doors become a little less secret. Really only good if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons in an actual dungeon with an actual dragon, which nobody does. It is mandatory for Dungeon of the Mad Mage though. Durable, compensate for your constitution being a dump stat and get an extra sandwich during nap time. Elemental Adept, allows you to kill a fiend faster. Seriously, why do they all have resistance to the elements? Also stops you from rolling super terrible damage, but not by much. I think it'd be cooler if you could kill a fire elemental with fire, because it doesn't... Uh, that'd be cool. Grappler, you become a better sumo wrestler and gain the ability to sit on your enemy while your rogue keeps stabbing his jugular. Great Weapon Master, if you roll really well all the time, or just like to gamble, you can hit really hard, m maybe. Basically turns you into a Dark Souls boss who telegraphs their attacks and then hits with the force of the sun. Healer, allows you to basically buy 10 healing potions for 5 gold. Also makes your party's cleric look like an unlicensed physician who never learned how to heal well. This is a fucking knockout feat, with its only negative being that you can't heal the same guy twice until he takes a nap again. Inspiring Leader, gives the players a chance to roleplay a speech, which they won't do, and then 6 people who are listening the whole time get really, really healthy. Honestly, it's pretty good at higher levels if you can spare 10 whole minutes every morning. Keen Mind, your character starts paying attention to the game for you. Pretty damn useless unless the DM runs a survival game or doesn't remind you what happened last week. Linguist, you went on Rosetta Stone for a month and learned how to talk to more people. Pretty damn good if you level up in the middle of Japan or Paris. Lucky, you just stop fucking rolling bad. You get a free stack of three inspiration tokens every time you wake up. It's great if you like to win or just hate your DM. Just like everything, this is a little better than Bardic Inspiration. Mage Slayer, when you're five feet away from a spellcaster, they suck at fighting you. Great against spellcasters with broken legs who don't know Misty Step. Magic Initiate, you learn two cantrips and a spell from any class. This is the coolest fucking feat on the whole list. With this, a paladin can summon the arms of Hadar, send Eldritch Blasts to pop their enemies' heads, and cast Prestidigitation. Look at him, he's so happy. He finally has cantrips. Or a barbarian can fucking scream at allies to heal them, make plants grow by yelling, and turn a stick into a magic stick and hit people with it. That's real good. Martial Adept. You gain two feats, but can only use one per day. Great for battle masters who want every ability their class offers, or for people who want to stack this feat. Otherwise, it's not amazing. Mobile. Lets you kite like Callista did before they patched her. Just run up, slap a guy, and then run away with your extra movement speed. Consider the following. A tabaxi monk at 18th level has plus 30 to their movement speed. Add this feat, it becomes plus 40. Give them boots of speed, and they can double that. Now, if we cast haste on them, activate their boots, and use their feline agility, they can move if the term double means multiply and knowing there are no restrictions on speed yet implemented, 1,120 feet in six seconds. If I did the math right, that looks like 127 miles per hour. And that monk's name was Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's move on. Mounted Combat, it gives you three badass abilities. While on your mount and some loser doesn't have a mount, you kill them really easily. And if someone attacks your trusty steed, you can valiantly take the blow instead. In addition to that, your mounts all get the rogue's seventh level ability, 
Evasion. If you're a gnome or a halfling, get yourself a mastiff and lay waste to the world. It's completely useless in a game where you can't take your mount anywhere. Observant, you start looking at everyone's lips a lot closer and can tell what they're saying. You also see everything happen, all the time, with your massive bonus to perception and investigation. Resilient, you prove that you're lame and took resilient. Ritual Caster, you learn find familiar and identify, because those are the best options, but you read the whole passage each time. At higher levels, this is actually pretty solid, because you can add ritual spells equal to half your level. So at level 12 and above, if you ever find a spell book with a ritual spell, you can steal it and cast it as many times as you want. It just takes a while. Savage Attacker. Instead of being that dick who rolls and then immediately picks it up and says it was a three or higher every time, you can do that without breaking the rules. Sentinel. You become a stationary badass and end up using your reaction pretty much every round. No one attacks your allies and gets away with it. Actually, no one gets away. Period. Sharpshooter, the great weapon master for people who like to shoot things. It lets you kill a guy who's 600 feet away from behind a tree. Also lets you launch a dart at the speed of sound to do 10 extra damage. Skilled, you learn how to do three things. Not amazing, but lets bards be extra proficient in everything. Skulker, you get to be a shitty rogue. Spell Sniper, you learn Eldritch Blast and can kill a guy who's 240 feet away from behind a tree. Tough, you get a bunch of hit points. This feat offers the same bonus at every level, but taking it early on gives you a bit of chonk throughout your life. Warcaster, pretty fucking good. Really only take this if you're a cleric, an eldritch knight, or an arcane trickster. Your spell concentration is stronger, you can cast your spells while holding two sandwiches at once, and can be magical during an opportunity attack. Guys, we're not even halfway done. And that monk's name was Honnick the Hedgehog. <laughs>